At a funeral in Albania, the mafia is laying to rest Marco, the son of their boss Murad. He remembers how his son was taken from him by an American killer and Val seeks revenge on the man planning to bring him to their country and spill his blood on their soil. We then catch up with Brian Mills, a former CIA black ops agent, as he arrives at his ex-wife Lenore's house to take his daughter for driving lessons. After Lenore finally admits that their daughter Kim has a boyfriend, Brian is shocked and concerned, as he had no prior knowledge of her dating. Lenore reassures him that Kim is okay, but she herself is now separated from her former husband and feeling a bit lonely. Before Brian leaves, Lenore asks him not to track them down, to which he agrees. Meanwhile, Kim is spending time with her boyfriend Jamie, who seems eager to advance their relationship. However, Kim is not ready to take things further. Just then, Brian unexpectedly shows up at the door, surprising Kim and making her feel embarrassed. She hurries into the car, and they begin their drive. Kim expresses her frustration, wondering how he found her, and learns that he installed a tracker in her phone. Despite her anger, Kim understands that her father is only trying to protect her. She asks him not to run a background check on Jamie, and he agrees, though he secretly arranges for his friend Sam to do it. We are then introduced to the corrupt French officer Petrol, who is ambushed by Murad's henchman Mansuko. They demand to know the whereabouts of Brian Mills, but Petrol insists he doesn't know. Suko resorts to violence, stabbing Petrol in the leg with scissors. The next day, Brian visits Lenore's house and finds her in tears. She explains that they had planned a family trip to try and mend things with her husband, but he cancelled everything. Feeling sympathy for her, Brian invites Lenore to join him on his three-day security job in Istanbul. Upon arriving in Istanbul, Brian spends time with friends who mock his relationship with his ex-wife, suggesting he might still have a chance. Meanwhile, Marco's associate bribes a Turkish official who reveals Brian's location. Kim and Lenore surprise Brian in Istanbul, and he takes them to his hotel room. Later that night, Kim wants to go out, but Lenore opts to rest. Brian and Kim head out into the city, enjoying a club and a ferry ride together. Brian asks Kim about Jamie and if she's in love, but she's uncertain, as she doesn't feel the way her mom described when she met Brian. The next morning, Murad and a convoy of cars arrive in Istanbul, finalizing their plans. Meanwhile, a man with his sights on Brian is ready to act. Brian arrives at a safe house and contacts the hotel. He meets up with Lenore and Kim in the lobby, but Kim decides to stay behind and relax at the pool. As Brian and Lenore leave, a mafia member reports that Kim is staying behind, prompting Murad to insist that they all be taken. In a private cab, Lenore and Brian discuss their family and what might have been. Brian notices a car tailing them and directs his driver onto a busy street to evade them. He gives Lenore instructions on where to go, urging her to return to the hotel and find Kim. Lenore exits the car, prompting Brian to take control of it, alerting the men that he's onto them. Murad gives his men the green light, and they begin to pursue Brian through the streets. Meanwhile, Brian attempts to reach Kim, who is occupied at the pool. They corner Brian, opening fire on him, causing his car to crash. However, they soon realize that Brian has managed to escape on foot. He evades them for a time, but they eventually spot him and give chase. Brian finds himself cornered by two men, but he skillfully dispatches them. More adversaries arrive, yet Brian continues to hold his ground. Suddenly, Suko appears with a gun to Lenore's head, compelling Brian to stand down. Brian manages to get through to Kim, informing her of the imminent danger and providing instructions on where to seek refuge. He relinquishes his weapon, and the men brutally assault him before abducting them both, putting Brian in the process. In the warehouse where they're taken, Brian, realizing he's alone, retrieves a concealed mini cell phone from his socks, managing to make a call. Unfortunately, he reaches Sam's voicemail. He then contacts Kim, who is still concealed in the closet. He urges her to head to the US Embassy, but Kim refuses to leave them behind, asking Brian for guidance on how to assist. Brian reluctantly instructs her to retrieve a case from the closet and extract a map. He guides her on narrowing down his location. When this proves unsuccessful, he advises her to use a grenade to help pinpoint his position. Kim complies, and Brian times the explosion to aid in locating him. Based on this and wind direction, he further guides her to a closer spot, arming her with a gun and two additional grenades. Events escalate, and Brian has to terminate the call before he can provide more details.
Suko enters and subjects Brian to a brutal beating before Murad confronts him. Murad displays pictures of those Brian has slain, culminating with an image of Marco, seeking retribution. Brian reminds Murad that Marco kidnapped his daughter, but Murad remains unmoved. He then brings in Lenore, making a small incision on her neck, intending to force Brian to witness the blood flow to her head, while planning to abduct Kim for nefarious purposes. Murad and his men depart, leaving Brian to fight to save Lenore. Breaking free of his restraints, he rushes to her side. Meanwhile, Kim follows the map to a location near Brian's position. She establishes contact with him, and he instructs her to detonate another grenade, confirming the timing. He guides her to continue heading east. Brian successfully ruptures one of the heating pipes, prompting Kim to search for the steam, which she observes from the rooftops. She reaches the chimney and drops the gun down before being pursued by Murad's men. Brian seizes the gun just in time, dispatching the guards who approach. He leaves Lenore and ascends to the upper floors, dispatching all adversaries in the room. Racing to the rooftops, he spots Kim being pursued and intervenes just in time to save her. They commandeer a cab and return to their base of operations. Brian instructs Kim to wait for five minutes, then head to the US Embassy, with or without them. Brian rushes inside to find Lenore, but she's already been taken. He witnesses her being dragged into a van. Outside, Kim observes the arrival of police officers heading inside. Brian pursues Lenore, but it's too late. He sees her being loaded into a van. Returning to Kim, he's compelled to shoot a cop conversing with Murad, and they make their escape. As the cops give chase, Kim, unable to fire a weapon, takes the wheel after a crash course in high-pressure driving. Facing gunfire from their pursuers, Brian urges Kim to accelerate. She musters her courage, executing a skillful maneuver that allows Brian to take down one of the drivers. They continue their escape. They reach a train line with an oncoming train, but Kim accelerates past it, causing their attackers to meet a fiery end. At the embassy checkpoint, Brian insists Kim not stop, despite the gunfire, crashing through the gates and finally coming to a halt on embassy grounds. Brian confesses to Kim that Lenore has been abducted, but since the men are after him, he plans to rescue her and bring an end to the ordeal. Brian retraces their initial kidnapping location, searching for clues. Meanwhile, Lenore is held captive in a room. Murad confronts her, berating Brian for prioritizing Kim. Lenore's concern, however, lies solely with Kim. Murad resorts to torture, brandishing his tools. Brian recalls every sound and scent he encountered during his abduction, following the trail. He identifies a man who appears to be involved, silently dispatching him. Brian then enters a building, incapacitating another adversary, now armed with an AK. Engaging other foes, Brian activates the AK, alerting Murad. Murad orders his men to secure Lenore. Brian fights his way upwards, checking each room, narrowly avoiding a hail of bullets. When two men attempt to corner him, Brian dispatches them. He faces off against Murad, who flees to the north, navigating through streets and into another building. Inside, Brian continues his search, discovering Lenore unconscious on the floor. Suko steps forward, engaging Brian in a heated battle. While Suko proves formidable, Brian's skills ultimately prevail. Suko draws a blade, inflicting a cut on Brian before attempting a fatal strike. Brian trips him, causing Suko to strike his head and meet his end in an anticlimactic manner. Brian retrieves Suko's gun and checks on Lenore, finding her weak but alive. He takes one of the men's phones and calls Murad's cell, locating Murad cowering in a corner. Brian gives Murad a chance to cease his quest for revenge, warning of dire consequences for his sons. When Murad attempts to shoot Brian, the gun is empty. Brian, disappointed, turns and ends Murad's life. He then returns to Lenore, learning that Kim is safe. In the aftermath, Brian and Kim share a moment of relief. Weeks later, Brian watches as Kim successfully passes her driving test. They celebrate with dinner at a restaurant, joined by Kim's boyfriend Jamie. Brian joins in the laughter, though his emotions run deep. Thank you for staying till the end. Your support on my channel would mean a lot. As always, catch you in the next one.